smallest man on the field up against one of the bigger ones, and he chopped him down. Now Fungina throws a dummy, and Michael Witt at marker got involved in a push and shove with Hutch Mayar, but forgot about the man at dummy half, and Fungina strolled in. And there you see Witt going the wrong way with Luke Williamson. There was no communication from marker. Both markers going the same way. And Vangana picked the football up and went, well, here's a chance. He might win it. There in week one of the finals, here's Williamson to Kennedy, who gives it to Witt. Simmons came in, Witt threw a ball to Nigel Vangana. Now there's trouble. He had only Cleal in front of him. Matai got back there in a hurry and did well to stop Vangana. Last play again, there's Sullivan. A ball on from Gallon to Nigel Vangana. Oh, there's nothing wrong with Nigel. He can still put on a try celebration with the best of them. It's 54 points to nil. It's about to become 56 points to nil. I don't know what to say anymore. I'm out of words, Laurie. Vangana scores the try. Well, how easy is that? That's unbelievable. Terrible one for Stevenson and Kamali scored. Now here's Simmons. He takes an intercept from Kennedy. He draws the fullback and gives it to Nigel Vangana, who gets the third try of his afternoon, number 121 in his career. It's 66 to 6. The number of the beast is on the scoreboard. <laughs> well, Kennedy's tried hard today in a badly beaten team. He's a much improved player to this kid, David Simmons. Positionally very aware of where he needs to be. Got plenty of speed. He'd stand out in city country. Here is Vangana again. Vangana to the line. Vangana finds the line. That is three tries in 11 minutes. Good angle. Again, it was Shackleton. Kamali tries to grab it through. Nigel Vangana scores. Alice Sharks taking all their options away as Ben Vayu gets it. Nigel Vangana picks up a loose ball. Now he's got a chance. Eastwood was there trying to stop him. Back on the inside, Vang Push as Bird here makes half a bust. Out to Vangana. Vangana puts the step on in open space. Inside the opening 45 seconds. He got it down. Badger so has really let this one flow. Dykes, last tackle. Dykes regathers. Vangana is there. Thurston's coming to try and stop him. Noddy is, he'll, he always tells you where he wants you to do and where he wants you at what time. Yeah. Is he a like, talker? Oh, definitely, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Pete's pulling one out of the, uh, out of the closet. <laughs> <laughs> Hasn't used that for a while. That's a different area of the game. You know, well, you can't sit there and let someone score a try and you can't pull the ball out for the fear of being penalised. That was the turning point of the game when uh, the, it was Good a great try. chip kick. It wasn't a bomb, it was a chip kick designed to get Minicello to... Dykes, Dykes with a dummy, now Vangana, West at a beat, and West has missed him, and Nigel Vangana, under the post, opens his scoring account for the season, and the Sharks are back in front. He'll play it inside the 20, 30 seconds left in this first half, Dykes eager to go right, Williams gets in behind them, away from the Lulu wide tackle, Vangana for the corner, and the Sharks with a one man advantage. Gets me every single time, and it's because you've got Hutch Maeva, and it's because you've got that little halfback um, Michael Sullivan, sorry, the little uh, dummy half, and Paul Mello, Reese Williams. They're not bad at all. They were down 26 0, and Cronulla just said, let's score more tries. Good skills. Cronulla can play, like, they got some good players, and why they've got to go fast. David Pucci's off contract this year, he needs some cash, he's, he's going.